section with them, so. <laughs> In my family, doctors are for broken bones and state laws. Anything else, my mom can handle. Seriously, before she was a mom, she was a nurse, and after she was a mom, she earned two degrees in alternative medicine. And I, alone among all of my siblings, never questioned her ways. Well, there's a little experimentation with a, a health clinic in college, but you know, aside from that, she's essentially been my primary care physician for my whole life. And then I found a lump in my breast. Now, I'm 33 years old, no history of cancer of any kind in my family. Chances are I was totally fine. But I knew I would need to go to a doctor and get this checked out with their machines for seeing inside the body and everything. So I called my mom expecting an argument, but she said, yeah, you should get that checked out. So apparently the rule had changed and doctors are now for breaks, laws, and mysterious lumps. So the biopsy came back that it was benign, but might not stay that way, so I should have it taken out. So I called my mom and she said, okay, good, now we know what it is, let's talk about our options. <laughs> options? <laughs> There's a lot of different ways to cut a lump out, I don't know. But I realized at that point that we had heard two different things in the diagnosis. I had heard, we'll cut it out, we'll close this chapter, and we'll just move on. She had heard, and now we enter the treatment phase. She said, come on, they said you have like, what, two years before it turns into anything? Let's use that time, let's play around, let's see what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, she has an unblemished record. She has successfully treated every cough, cold, fever, ache, pain, rash, infection, ailment of any kind anyone in my family had ever come up with. She even had some success at healing small broken bones. So she proposed a treatment plan aimed at dissolving the lump so my body could dispose of it naturally. And I agreed to try it if I could also schedule the consultation with the surgeon. But I knew that my debate was not which method I was going to use. It was simply whether or not I was going to defy my mom in a substantive way for the first time in my life. So I called my sister, who has way more experience with that than I do, <laughs> and I said, what's going to happen? Is she going to stop speaking to me and kick me out of the family? And my sister said, she'll get over it. She got over it when he started wearing colored underwear. She'll get over this. <laughs> I had forgotten about the great underwear rebellion of 94. <laughs> See, my mom believed that all underwear needs to be white because it's only clean if it's bleached. I didn't think about it. And then I get to college, and there's this array of colored panties that all of my friends have. When she discovered, she comes out of the laundry room holding this pair of green panties saying, and what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> but ultimately, my sister's right. She got over it. So I scheduled the surgery. And then I got scared again. <laughs> because, I mean, this was a little bit bigger deal than what color my panties were. I mean, I was choosing to take a stand against my mom at the moment when I, I really needed her the most. I mean, I. I could not fathom having the surgery without her support. Well, eventually, the, the uh, stress of not telling her overwhelmed my fear of telling her. And I started to realize that this was a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I am a grown-up. And if I want to have surgery, <laughs> I can have surgery. And so I was like, forget it, and I grabbed my phone, and I was going to call her, I was going to tell her what's up, you know, and I'm dialing and humming the Rocky theme song, and I'm ready for this, I'm just going to tell her, and it's ringing, and I get up and it answers, I said, mommy, I'm, I want to have the surgery, okay, please, and she said, okay. And the surgery was fine, and she was such a trooper. She sat there and she listened to me go over and over the story and every gory detail, and she listened, even though I know that it made her stomach turn and it made her heart hurt just a little bit. The only limit that she had was that she did not want to see the incision or the scar, but I was okay with that because I realized that everybody has to draw the line somewhere. 